Fear of death and the attitude of the finite life being insignificant, that like, what is the point? This thing that makes us unique is that we know that we're going to die. Yeah, yeah. That, that to me is the vital distinguishing feature of our species. You know, we can reflect on the past, we can think about the future and recognize that we're not going to be here in the future, yeah. at least for some period of time. And it's, um, it's an idea and it's powerful motivating influence is one that has been explored throughout the ages. Uh, Otto Rank was one of the early disciples of Freud who ultimately broke with Freud, uh, developed this thesis that our awareness of our own mortality is one of the driving factors in what we do. And then when I was, I don't know, I was in my 20s or 30s, I read a book by a guy named Ernest Becker called Denial of Death. I don't know if you've ever heard of this book. It was, no. it was big in the 70s. It won actually the Pulitzer Prize in the 70s. And it's a wonderful distillation of this way of thinking about why we humans do what we do. And in many ways, in my own book, the one that's coming out actually today, until the end of time, it's, um, it's extending this notion that Becker developed in Denial of Death, but now seeing it in a cosmological setting. Because it's not just we that are going to die, it's every structure in the universe is going to disintegrate in time. Our, our best theories suggest to us that even protons the very heart of matter. There are quantum processes that in the far future will ensure that every proton disintegrates, falls apart into its constituent particles. And at that point, there's no complex matter around at all.